In the past couple of years, a lot of big Twitch streamers have started to level up the quality of their stream, and that starts with their webcam. As is common knowledge by now, they've started to use Sony mirrorless cameras along with capture cards like the Elgato CamLink 4K for some really good looking webcam footage. By the way, we've done a video on the Elgato CamLink 4K, so if you want to check that out, click the card in the upper right. But I would hope it looks good because the setup I just described to you costs over $2,100. For hobbyist streamers, that's just not feasible. But that's not to say that you also can't have good quality webcam on a budget. Using this clever app from Loft Labs Interactive, you can use your iPhone's high quality camera to totally transform the quality of your content. More on that after the intro. OBS Camera was made in 2018, developed by an indie Mac and iOS app developer, Will Townsend. He originally developed the plugin because he would use OBS to record himself playing the guitar and knew his iPhone had a higher quality camera than his Logitech C920. And he knew that himself and many other people have iPhones laying around, so he thought why not use that high quality camera in OBS. After polishing it up a bit, he officially launched it into the public and has been adding features ever since. Now, indie software is great because it's usually developed by a one person team, so they can listen to their customers much greater than a big company like Google could. That's why Apollo for Reddit, which I happen to be wearing some merch for right now, is my favorite app on iOS. The developer of Apollo on Reddit, Christian Seelig, listens to his customers to make the best app around. And it's clear to me that Will has done the same thing. This app is packed with all the features you could ever need using your iPhone's camera in OBS. First, let's install the OBS camera plugin and then I'll give some opinions about the app after. So the first thing you want to do is go to the iOS app store and download the OBS camera app. It is 18 US dollars, but when you consider that it's just a fraction of the cost of an Elgato cam link, it doesn't sound that bad. After downloading the app, head over to your computer and go to the obs.camera website. Click the help and docs tab and select the connect method you would like to use. I would recommend using USB for almost everyone, but if you want to experiment with NDI, then he's got a good guide on that too. Take note of the requirement that if you are on a Windows computer, you must install iTunes from the Microsoft Store since it installs drivers that allows your Windows PC to communicate with an iOS device. Then download the plugin installer for your respective operating system and install it without OBS being open. Once we boot up OBS Studio, we can see we have a new option in the create a source menu called iOS camera. Open the app on your iPhone and the plugin should connect with the app almost instantly. You may notice that in the OBS properties menu for the iOS camera source that there are not that many settings to customize your iPhone camera settings. That's because those settings are controlled in the iOS app and oh boy, are there ever a lot of them. For the most basic users, OBS camera allows you to use autofocus and exposure to perfectly light your shot on the fly. However, if you are craving more professional level control over the camera, you can manually adjust zoom, ISO, shutter speed, focus, and white balance. If you're using an iPhone with multiple lenses, then you can also specify which specific lens you would like to use. The triple camera and double camera options automatically switch between the various cameras when you zoom in and out, whereas specifically selecting a lens such as the wide angle lens will only use digital zoom. Up at the top are five quote unquote quick actions that include screen power toggle, two different options of alignment grids, swapping between the front facing and rear facing cameras, microphone toggle, and finally the rear flash toggle. At the bottom of the screen is where you will see the current status of the connection between your iPhone and the OBS camera plugin. When connected, it will also tell you the current bitrate of the stream being sent to the computer. Clicking the gear icon takes us into the dedicated settings page. On the capture tab, we have the ability to customize what exactly we want to see on our camera preview on the iPhone screen. Zebras specifically are a great way to tell if your shot is too under or over exposed, which can be tricky to get right with an iPhone camera with such a small sensor. Focus peaking can also help you nail focus if you are using the manual controls. In the next section, this is where you can customize the resolution and frame rate that you would like to shoot in. I was happy to see in full HD, you can transmit all the way up to the full 240 FPS that this phone can handle. If you don't need such high frame rates, then you can also choose 4K at up to 60 FPS, and there are a plethora of obscure frame rates that the developer included in case you need those for whatever reason. 
The audio input panel is where you can choose what audio device to send over to OBS. And finally, you can choose whether you would like to toggle video stabilization, which is handy if you are shooting handheld. In the output panel is where you can choose between USB and NDI connections, and also just the bitrate, which you wanna transfer over the USB cable. To give you an idea of the quality you can expect from this setup, I'm gonna compare it to my Sony a6300 and Cam Link 4K. I'm also going to use both a newer device, an iPhone 12 Pro and an older device, an iPhone 6S. I'm going to stop talking now and let you judge the quality for yourselves. So that's about it for this video. As you can tell, I'm a huge fan of this app. I think it's really polished and it makes sense for a lot of hobbyist streamers to use their iPhone instead of going out and buying a Sony camera or a price gouged Logitech webcam. So again, all the links are down in the description and we will see you guys next week.